Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Viktor Korchnoi and Boris Paski that was played in Leningrad in 1948. Where is Leningrad? Leningrad is a city in Russia. In 1991, the city's name was changed from Leningrad back to St. Petersburg. In this game, Viktor Korchnoi had white pieces and he started with e4. Spassky played c5 and we have Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4, knight to c3 defending, and now g6. Dragon variation of Sicilian defense. f4, and now bishop to g4, attacking queen. It is possible to block, but Korchno played bishop to b5. This is check. Knight from b to d7. Bishop takes knight check. Queen takes on d7. Queen to d3. And e5 was played. Perhaps better was bishop to g7. e5. Attacking knight. Korchno played knight to f3. And now in this position. Young Boris Paski who was only 11 years old when this game was played, decided to go for a draw. So first step, he captured knight, and after Korchnoi captured bishop, he played queen to g4, wanted to exchange queens. But he missed something. What did Spassky miss? If you wish, you can pause this video, and you can try to find the winning move that White played in this position. Are you ready? Queen takes on g4 is not the winning move. The winning move is knight to d5. And believe it or not, Spassky resigned. Why he resigned? Well, if he takes knight on d5, then he is losing his queen. If he takes queen first, then knight takes on f6 check, and after king to e7 or king to d8, knight moves away, and white wins peace for nothing. What he missed is that he doesn't have to take knight. This variation was found after the game. He could have played king to d8 in this position. And then we would have this continuation. Queen takes queen. Knight takes h3. Knight must go back to h6. Pawn takes pawn. And after pawn takes pawn, bishop to g5. Check. King to d7. White would castle and white would have winning position. That was a very short game. Many people consider Viktor Korchnoi to be the strongest player who never succeeded in becoming world champion. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.